guys. So, first of all, new camera. Today I want to talk a little bit about my recap of my first vegan holidays. So this is just going to be a little bit of advice to dealing with family or friends. Disclaimer, I am definitely no expert. I've been vegan for coming up on like four months now, so still a newbie, but this is just what I found worked for me. I know that a lot of people have like different approaches and that's totally fine. This is just my advice, so take it or leave it. I'm including Thanksgiving. Is that part of the holidays? I don't know. What I found that's worked for me just to prevent any like stress on what you can and can't eat is to just make a large dish that you can share with everybody. What I did for Thanksgiving was I made a big casserole dish of a baked vegan macaroni and cheese. It was so good. We've gotten a lot better at it than like other vlogs who've seen me struggle. Make it ahead of time, give yourself enough time, present it really nicely if you can. When you get to whatever event you're at, just yeah, be responsible for your own dish. So make sure it goes in the oven on time. Make sure you can ask ahead of time if there's gonna be enough room in the oven for what you're making because that would stink if you wouldn't be able to heat it up. Make sure there's like a serving spoon and stuff like that just for your dish so there's no reason that people can't try it, basically. I made these like chocolate peanut butter brownies. I got the recipe for that on, there's a blog called Chocolate Covered Katie, which a lot of her recipes are vegan and other ones you can make vegan really easily so definitely look up like blogs have been helping a lot. If people are making certain dishes while you're there, just keep an eye out. You can even ask, be like, hey, before you add stuff, can I get a dish? So I got a big bowl of mashed potatoes before they added milk and butter. Also going along with family dinners, I noted that my first family dinner um, as a vegan, like with my extended family, I did get teased a little bit, which isn't fun as you do, or I feel like a lot of people experience that, especially at first. David's first family event, that I went to as a vegan, like, yeah, like a lot of people ask me questions. I think that first, those first few big family events, they are hard, um, people can seem rude. It's because I've seen a lot of videos where people kind of like give up on their extended family and they don't go to events. I would give it a few times. If people are still rude, then you can take it from there and decide what to do, but I think it takes a little bit of time for people to adjust. If they don't understand what you're doing, if they don't think that you're gonna stick with it, if they don't know that you're really serious and passionate about it, just give people a little bit of a little bit of time and a little bit of faith that they're gonna change their tune. Now the last couple times I've gone to extend family things, nobody's like made rude comments or anything. Even David's family is really nice about it, like no one's saying anything silly or making jokes. Next holiday, which probably isn't actually a holiday, but it's my birthday, December 11th, in case you're wondering. I went out to eat for lunch with my sister and one of her friends. We went to a restaurant, I heard from them that there's a few vegan options at that place. That was nice to be able to go out to eat if you already know that there's vegan options out there. There's a place not too far away from here that has vegan cupcakes that I've seen before. So my sister and I went and got a bunch of them for everybody for my birthday. There's also a Whole Foods like an hour away from me. So I would have gone there and gotten my own birthday cake. Like you can do stuff like that or your family could reimburse you if they wanted to. If you didn't want to cook it and make other people bake for you and worry about that kind of stuff. It helps out a little bit. And also on my birthday, my mom made a uh, taco night, which was really good. Next holiday was um, David's family Christmas. They do a thing on Christmas Eve that I went to. I brought my big mac and cheese again, and I added tons of broccoli and tomatoes to that one. It was super good, and I hadn't made that for anybody before, so it's like it's a new dish. So you can repeat things with different groups of people. Maybe this is just my perception of things, but I found that, especially being somebody's like significant other or just like the younger generation of people, people seem to be impressed that you contribute to dinner and like bring something for everybody. I think that gets you some brownie points. My extended family Christmas, my mom was making a uh, chili and she made sure to make it vegan because they're all vegetarians in my immediate family. So, and to just like, if you know somebody is making a dish that's probably vegan, just double check because I just double check with her and I was like, cool, I don't want to make anything if you're making something I can eat. Her chili had like beans and veggies and lots of tomatoes and fake sausage, it was super good. And she also made a rice, which she 
actually made with I think like olive oil or something and no butter. There's baked potatoes that I didn't add anything to. Make sure you ask how things were prepared, ask if they have like butter and milk, things like that. And to just be polite, not be like, oh, can't eat that. You know, especially if you bring your own stuff and you already know that there's like at least one option to not be too much of a downer if you find out things you can't eat. My Did I Feel Like Christmas, I made these chocolate chocolate chip cookies. I just made it up some recipe from my brain. The other thing is Christmas presents. I got some things that were like milk chocolate, especially if it's a gift for you. You could mention politely, be like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't eat this, but thank you anyway. I didn't say anything this year just because I think I've mentioned what I can and can't eat, so I just made sure to yeah, be polite if you are given things that you maybe you can't eat and to give them away to other people if you want. My number one piece of advice would just to be polite. Um, be the best, shining, energetic, happy example of veganism that you can possibly be and people will take note and respect that and maybe even be interested in your new lifestyle or your old lifestyle, however long you've been vegan. That is it for this video. Those are just some things I found um, my first vegan holidays. Let me know in a comment down below how your holidays went. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you want to do. Subscribe if you haven't already to see more. Let me know how you like this new camera setup or if it stinks and I should get my money back. Thank you so much for watching and I hope everybody has a very happy new year. And I'll see you in a later video. Bye! And then there's also like, really? Mm, look at all my wrinkles and my zit you can see now. It's pretty nice. Mm. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. This is perfection right here. Okay. Thanks for your support.